Hi guys, so in this video we're going to learn delete plugin hook, which is an action hook. Okay. So as we're looking at the codex, uh, do action function defines the delete plugin hook, and it fires immediately before the plugin deletion attempt. Okay, so whenever someone tries to delete the plugin, just before that this hook fires. So whatever custom function we have attached to this hook will get executed at this point and it gives us access to the plugin file name okay uh, which is a string and it is included in the WP admin includes plugin.php so if we go to that file we can see that this is the do action delete plugin and plugin file is the name of the file that we are getting that as a variable as a parameter which will be available to our add action custom function that we can use again okay. fires immediately before a plugin deletion attempt all right so let's go ahead and use our function um, we are using the add action function with this hook delete plugin and we are calling our custom function we are setting the priority to one and uh, by default uh, since we are not passing any parameter count by default it's one and as uh, you can see that there's just one a parameter that's being passed over here which is available from the uh, do action function okay <clears throat> so I have just created one uh, plugin for deletion purposes uh, and it just says plugin name I I just delete test so we're going to delete this uh, plugin and once it's deleted we're going to print out whatever is inside of the plugin file okay plugin file variable so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to admin dashboard and yep, this is the one. So let's delete that. So once it's deleted, uh, let's ignore this message deletion failed. Uh, what we are getting as an echo is the IHS delete test.php. So this is the uh, name of the file which is deleted. Okay, and it says success true data delete plugin slug plugin uh, name plugin name and all of those stuff all of that information. Okay, so that's how the uh, delete plugin hook is used. Uh, it gets fired uh, before the plugin is deleted. Okay, uh, which is basically immediately before a plugin is deleted. Okay, and then we have hooked on to our custom function, which is echoing whatever is inside of it. You can do what you like at this point. Okay, all right then. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.